Welcome to In The Stiffs Podcast with me, Sam Mason, and my ex-teammates, Dave Edwards and Gav Cowan. Thank you to our sponsors, Acoustiform, the number one supplier of quality acoustic solutions. Enjoy. How are you feeling, Dave, about that end of the season? Relieved. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is sad. Oh, it's well, no, I'm it's emotional. We were supposed to meet at half four, but as per usual, Gav rearranged three hours before. That, they, might, that, they might be thinking it's Mark Wright, you play centre off Liverpool yeah. when they think. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be buzzing Mark Wright, wouldn't he, if he knew about that. It's hard to look past the five sides just because you're a oh, team, yeah. Dave. Yeah, great fun. That was good. I'm still good with what my voice sounds like. I thought I had loads more bass in it. I said, like, yeah. Text him now. Yeah. Text him yeah. now. Text him right now. That had been amazing. We were more comfortable with the five guys, or we? No one's getting paid. In, in, in fact, come on the podcast will probably cost you yeah well and our expenses in yeah <laughs> got no interest in the podcast because it's not their thing but they said oh I was quite interested in the, in the one about resilience I thought it was good get yeah. off social media Sam you're not, you're not helping first few times I was saying to Emma my wife oh, I'll, be, I'll be back in an hour we're only doing a short one tonight yeah. no such thing as a short podcast so we've got I, I, only, I only found out we had one tonight yeah. <laughs> but if you want to come on the podcast hostily you're more than welcome <laughs> So, you know, Thomas Sorensen got 101 Denmark cats. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do that then because I don't think I've subscribed yet. <laughs> okay, welcome to In The Stiffs podcast. This is the end of season debrief. End of season one. Quite a journey, lads. How are you feeling, Dave, about that end of the season? Relieved. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Oh, it's no, it's break. emotional. Uh, it's, I think it's been, it's been an amazing experience. And I've never done, and I've been a guest on some podcasts, but not... To actually do something like this and see the work that needs to go into it all, and then I just think it's been it's been bri- it's been brilliant. And I don't think in our wildest dreams we could have really hoped that it'd be this well received because um, it definitely has. Fifteen ep- fifteen episodes. Yeah, this will be the fifteenth, won't it? We initially spoke in what um, sixteenth episode. We initially spoke we about doing eight. Eight in series one, wasn't it? Doubled it. Well, I think from from the number of podcasts and the way it's been received definitely surpassed all expectations from what we started. I mean, I know we were having ourselves a little bit at the start, but <laughs> it's even surpassed that, wasn't it? Well, on the way here, I was just telling I was just telling you to one I I've driven past somebody on the way to Gav. We were supposed to meet at half four, but as per usual, Gav rearranged three hours before. Um, on the way here on the M54, blokes pulled up alongside me and his teenage son in the car. And he put his phone to the wi- um, the window and showed me that he was listening in the stiffs on Amazon. I hope he was a passenger. <laughs> yeah, <it> was a <laughs> passenger. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was buzzing. I was waving like mad. Yeah. I was like beeping the horn, flashing the lights, and he was like, "All right, mate, I'm listening yeah. to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't, don't want to go on a date with you." <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, like you, we've said on numerous occasions, haven't we? How wherever we've gone, people have like received it really well. You know, friends and family have said it's brilliant. It's just been it's been great just to have like a bit of a common connection with people, whether it's being going to my son's football or my daughter's dance. Yeah, there's a guy I see at my daughter's dance every week. I must have seen him for the last couple of years. Never spoken a word. And he just tapped me on the shoulder and went, loving the podcast, that, mate. I thought I that reckon, was quality. That's cool. loved it. Yeah, I loved it. I think that's been one of my favourite things. I think because po- probably people have heard our voices and heard us speak more. So people think they've automatically got a bit of a connection with you. So they're more likely to go... I mean, I mean hi, Sam, how are you doing? Like the podcast, you all right? You know, I was a family and... I love that. I think that's common ground, brilliant. isn't it? Yeah, it's it's common ground. Because you do often see people, and they're, they're looking, and you, you know, they might think, "Oh, I want to sort of say hello, but don't know whether I should." So, like you say, it's that. They might, like, they might be thinking it's Mark Wright. You play centre off Liverpool yeah. when they see. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be buzzing Mark Wright, wouldn't he? If he knew about that. Hey, I tell you what, I give his caps though. Some player when he left footed as well. Was he? Nice. Yeah, left footed. He was very good. Played left of a three, didn't he? In Italian, ain't he? Yeah, I remember his Chester manager. We yeah, played him a few it. times at Shrewsbury, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, I remember. I remember. Well. But, I think what Sam's him. alluding to, look at me looking like him then. <laughs> <laughs> Not when he played in the tally yeah. in 90, he was a bit of a mullet stud, wasn't he? He got me down when I was, I can't remember where, where I'd been at the moment, but he got me down to the same, he was manager of Peterborough, he got me down to um, the ground of Peterborough. So I travelled from Shrewsbury, he's like, come down and have a chat. I got there, he offered me a one-year contract. I can't remember what the money was, but it was something like that. I just obviously couldn't afford to move my whole family from Shrewsbury to Peterborough. And he was like... That's the deal then. Take it or leave it. I'm like, I have to leave it, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> I can't afford. It's not really. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to afford to yeah. do that. That's ridiculous. A one year contract. And Hoping for like a real, yeah. like a big negotiation is like so, yeah, take it or leave it. Didn't work out. Ships in the night. Anyway, never mind. All right, let's run over some of our favorite bits. Favorite episode. Hard one that isn't it? It is tough. I've been thinking about this all day. I was in a meeting today and I was just daydreaming and got caught out. I must have missed about two minutes of the meeting, but. 
it's hard not it's hard to look past the five asides just because you're a oh, team yeah. Dave. Yeah, great fun. That was good. No, but but great even, fun. Like me and Sam were like a couple of little fanboys when you're talking okay. about you got who do you have in there? Joe, Connor. Uh, first name terms there. Joe, Joe and Connor. Connor. Friend of the show. Two Joe friends of the show. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Rambo? Gaz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what everybody's asked me though, when's Gareth Beale coming on? Dave's bottled it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. It was on the telly. On the telly, I thought, there's Dave, stood there with Gareth Bale, having the proper chat. I thought, if he hadn't dropped the podcast in there, like, I'm never speaking to Dave again. Come Did back. I was like, I was, expe- I was expecting a voice note. Gareth, <laughs> Gareth Bale, in. get ready. Sunday, lads, we're, up, um, we're flying over. Yeah, flying to Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your clubs. <laughs> uh, we're doing a podcast with Gaz. And I know we're Nothing. laughing, but I genuinely thought that might happen. I, still t- I thought it was going to be announced tonight, is it? No, yeah, yeah. Not, we haven't got Se- him. Series two, no. He, um, that, that was a big thing for me just coming away and obviously uh, when you were saying about um, him wrapping free kicks into certain areas of the goal and then obviously scored the yeah, other week yeah, that was brilliant yeah. wasn't it and it's exactly how we said the way yeah. he just gets it up and down so quickly yeah that I, I really enjoyed that episode as well it, yeah. it was good I think it's more because the interaction we seem to have from the listeners on that as well I think people really bought into that episode and was wanting to find yeah. out more and, and things like that so that was that was entertaining and then we kind of had a common theme after that of our guests, weren't we? Trying to ask them what their favourite yeah. five-a-side teams was. And that is something that will be obviously ongoing from the back of that. Yeah. And I, th- I think we enjoyed it more. I think, you know, listening to some of the early ones, a little bit nervous. And when you listen back, especially that first one, we listened to that first one and it didn't sound great. I think we were all probably a bit nervous and all wanted to speak and we're just all speaking really quickly and it, it just didn't it just didn't sound as good. I'm still good with what my voice sounds like. I thought I had <laughs> loads more bass in it. <laughs> I said more on Brando, I'm like a little bit like, more on Brando, like Joe Pesci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was so, I was like Barry White. Yeah, just so disappointed when I, I might have with you on I've that. Been tr- I've been trying really hard to put a bit more bass in me, <laughs> in me voice. Oh, I think that one's hard to look past. And then again, what I've enjoyed the most is sitting down with Connor Cody, Joe Hart, and really listening wow. to their stories. It's been nice to sit back and listen to the story and the journey of elite players, you know, and they, they are two of the most current elite guys, aren't they? They're right up there. It was funny though, what that Connor Cody was, because we were talking about guests and we, we, we've written a list of guests. We'll have, we'll have to show people that list. It's brilliant, isn't it? On, let's let's put a couple of the outlandish ones. <laughs> right. Come on, let's see. We... Well, not, not, not guests we got. Not guests we got, yeah. Trying to get Ollie Murs still trying to get Ollie Murs on. I'm still working on that one. But suddenly then, we've been talking about all these people. What about Shrewsby players initially, weren't we? Just saying it was going to be more of a podcast for Shrewsby fans. Then Dave went, I'll tell you who I can get on, lads. I don't know whether you'd be interested or not. What, but would um, Connor Cody be any good? And I went, Connor Cody, the Wolves captain in England centre off. Dave went, yeah, what do you reckon? I was like, <laughs> yes, mate. I said, like, yeah. Text him now. Yeah, text him, text now. him right now. That'd be an amazing <laughs> guest. That'd be like, we wouldn't let you out, yeah. would we? I was like, well, what's what's he, has he said anything yet? Has he come back to you? <laughs> Is he coming? But straight, but he away, was, straight away, I said to you, like, Obviously, I couldn't say you definitely do. I said, I'm sure if he's allowed by the club and that, he will do it just because what a good lad he was. And I said all the way up leading up to that interview, didn't I, which was probably about a month's worth of time, yeah. you will love him. He is yeah. such a good lad and he didn't disappoint, did he? And it, no. I suppose it does show it. It isn't just a case of asking people and then, you know, because there's some people that will have to turn us down at some times because what? obviously they're working with clubs and well, just logistics, isn't it? Then, isn't it? Like obviously, we, we spoke to one guy, didn't we? You just said, well, I need to run it past the club because they're, they're sort of pretty hot on this Who type of thing. I'm it. not going to find under the bus. But oh. it, it's not just as easy as calling them and saying, come in. But, but obviously, not, not, not with current players. Is no, it? no. But, players but with, with Connor, obviously, he was like relatively straightforward, wasn't he? And Joe, like. When you, when you, Joe would come on, didn't we? That, yeah. was, that was a banker, wasn't it, really? Well, from the start, we thought, well, he's, he's definite. Yeah, yeah he was. Not? Yeah. But, but you, never, yeah, so you never know what the, no, the football know. club's going to say, do you? Because no. it's. You don't want to come out and say something which is going to kind of. I think the point I make it's just not as easy as a text and going yeah mate no problem and yeah. then when you look at the especially Joe obviously we had to go it took us a day to get up there and back didn't it and obviously we had to be there and we missed the dinner reservation devastated <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah so we let, yeah, t- talk, talk everybody through that when we went to, so we left what time did we leave in the morning right we got nine, picked nine up, this one, we got picked up nine. budging motors again yeah got picked up nine o'clock in the morning met at Dobby's yeah we stopped we got off picked up had a, we had some beers but we, we didn't start that early did we no. We had a driver. He took we us up there. there. We stopped a couple of times. Yeah. Then we got there. And when we got there, Joe was on, a, on a Zoom meeting. He was on a Zoom meeting, wasn't he? So we had to have a walk into the 
local area, didn't we? Find a great was, pub, didn't we? Yeah, but how good was that? What was that pub called? No, oh, that was brilliant. I don't know, but there's loads of the pubs. Oh. We tried a couple, didn't we? But they all opened at four. And I was like, we're in Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. Open at four. But then it was strange, we, wasn't it? Then yeah. we found a brilliant little pub, didn't we? Had a beer. Went up, went on to Joe's. We said we'd be there for three. So he said, I've booked the IV half six. And we were like, right, that's sound. I said, that's more than enough time. It'll only be an hour and a half. And we just carried on, didn't we? <laughs> and carried on. And Joe rang up. Joe, I said, you're going to have to ring the Ivy. Joe rang the Ivy and put it back from half six so eight. T- till eight. To quarter to eight. He said that quarter, quarter to eight. eight. Then, then we started getting to like half seven. And we, yeah. he was still we had on. a side England. He was, yeah. he, had, he, he was only still living at Dave's at that time. He, hadn't even he, just, he just told us about putting the spade. We were talking the about putting the spade through the wall, through yeah. The wall yeah. I was like, we're going to struggle again. We're going to struggle again to England, yeah. And then in the end, so he had to cancel the Ivy again. Yeah. And we were like, oh. He was like, should I just get a five, guys? So we then were like, the, the manager of the Ivy called up, didn't he, and said, oh, please come down. And Joe was like, I can't, I'm doing a podcast. Yeah. Oh, some that. people got when you were going to come and there's some fans down here who'd oh. love to see you. Yeah, Joe, to apologize, Joe was like, oh, I'm so sorry. We killed yeah. him there, really, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. We, were, we were more comfortable with the five guys, though, weren't we? In fact, yeah. our guests, anybody, any guests who, who want to get paid or think they're going to get paid, you're not. <laughs> Con, you, Connor, you, had to, Connor had to pay, pay his own petrol expenses to come over to, to Gav's house to do it. And Joe had to buy us the five guys, didn't he, and loads of coffee. And a, yeah, and a cost there. Yeah. It's cost her a right few yeah. quid, isn't it, yeah. to be fair, to have us So on. no one's getting paid. In, in, in fact, to come on the podcast will probably cost you. Yeah, we'll hand <laughs> our expenses in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we know we'll leave that That happened early doors as well. Um, yeah, so for me, I think I'm going to go with the five-a-side teams and probably the, the in terms of going to see Joe... As a, as a whole was amazing but I, th- I really loved the first episode I sort of listened to it twice just what loved the, it the, the original just thought oh, he was yeah. brilliant oh, just know. thought like all the Shrewsbury stuff and when he was starting and the Gary Peters stuff oh sorry oh, Joe's, Joe's, Joe's oh, sorry. first yeah, episode yeah, yeah, yeah. no the, the original. original we were terrible we were pony weren't we were I, I thought Joe's, the second episode of Joe was better I think but the we, third one is we did <laughs> yeah good tune shout in, <laughs> tune in Tuesday I, no 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 tune in last week <laughs> but, um, what was I gonna say? but even like Connor Cody, we didn't know how long it would take. We thought like, Connor's coming down, and we thought it could be forty minutes. But he d- it was two hours, and it was just like in a flash, oh, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Goes so and he couldn't yeah. listen more. And he, yeah, what like, what a positive, you know, what an amazing character, wasn't it? In personality. Yeah. And when he finished, we were like, oh my god, we missed so many questions. Yeah, didn't we? Yeah. like there's so many other things we wanted to ask him, but it just flies by. Yeah. And you, you obviously respect their time because they're giving it up. Yeah, yeah, especially for him. He's, he's finished training. He's driven over all. The, he's driven all the way over here, and he's got to drive all the way back, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got to go back home after that. He's gone back home. Yeah, he was going back home, wasn't he? Just good guys, isn't yeah, they? Just really yeah. good. We've been really lucky, we? The great bit. guys. So, what about you, Sam? Favorite episode? I like the five or so. Because I think we start to have a little bit of you know, like when we when we go for being for a drink, we'll have like banter, won't we? Yeah. And be like take the mick out of each other. And I think in the first couple of episodes, I don't know, it's a bit different, isn't it? Because you're sort of finding your feet. But I think we like it was quite funny there, and we were. I like mean, you ram on each other, which is standard, isn't yeah. it? And, and it, it was good. I like that. But I like the stadiums one. When you talking about what was that stadium? Yeah, it's a red stub. That yeah. was, that's what that's my favourite episode. Apart from the guest, that was. That we was need to share. One. Put that link up again, though, isn't it? Because that's yeah. amazing, isn't it? When you see them going well, through um, that stadium. Rangers played there last week. Was it last week or the week before in their yeah. European game? So it's quite nice watching that back and watching them come out and things like that. But yeah, I, I had that as one of my favourite episodes. It's more just reminiscent. Not just about that, but more some of the older stadiums we played at with, with Shrewsbury yeah, and things yeah, like that. Some yeah. of the old grounds which aren't around anymore. Yeah, we, we, spoke Leia, we spoke about Layer Road, didn't yeah, we, and places like that. Um, yeah, that was, that was nice well, even to listening, The five-a-side one was good. Because even it was, it was the difference in, I know we're talking like different levels of players. But it was the same sort of like, you know, them flair players who don't tie the boots. And whether that's Aaron Ramsey or whether that's, it's a similar, Jeff, I mean, it's, we all know the similar kinds of players. Like you'd have... A big centre off, or you'd have a stopper, or you'd have a flair player. You'd have similar kinds of players, wouldn't you, at all levels? I thought that was like really interesting. So I loved that. That's, I think that's been a big hook about in the stiffs the fact that we're all coming from different angles. Do you know what I mean? We're all coming from like we can tap into Premier League football for you, Dave, and lower league football for us. So it's I think like we're we're hopefully appealing to people across the board. You know, people who are interested in all levels of football. And it's, it's, fa- it's fascinating to see, even though the, the differences in playing levels, that the dressing rooms are very much oh, very similar, yeah. aren't they? I, I think Nothing that makes, change, really. I think that makes very little difference, doesn't it? I mean, there might be... I think now it's, in the Premier League, there's probably a lot more foreign lads, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. But you speak to Connor, you speak to Joe, it's like, 
To see him, yeah, to see him, Still banter, isn't it? Can't see do him can't do the things that people used to do, but yeah. ultimately, yeah. like you say, same banter in the changing room, isn't it? Yeah. What about our little one on resilience that went down the storm? That with the teachers at my school, a couple of them who don't like who openly got no interest in the podcast because it's not their thing, but they said, "Oh, I was quite interested in the one about resilience. I thought it was good." I really enjoyed it. But again, it's like when we said at the start, obviously we talk a lot about football. We've spoken about our own sort of experiences in and out of football. I think things like that, people are interested in because it appeals to them, doesn't it? Yeah. So hopefully... Yeah, like Everybody has pressures in their job yeah. and difficult conversations and have to show resilience. So I think it did like appeal to a lot of people more than what something talking about stadiums or talking about best five-a-side team, which for some of my teachers at school wasn't particularly interesting, but they enjoyed the discussion about it, resilience. It's again seeing footballers away from what they just see on the screen or at a football stadium, yeah. isn't it? You actually see the difficulties they go through. And I think that's quite enlightening for some people and almost to see that they have the same troubles that everybody does. I think it was good. Yeah, yeah. I, I had quite a few people talk about that. Yeah, I really, lot, really yeah I've, had a, I've had quite a lot of feedback on I it. thought everybody would just be in huff because it wasn't your heart yeah. third episode. I think we're trying to just sneak another yeah. one in there, but it actually <laughs> went down well. The fair yes. play to Whit for took, taking the stick for that. Yeah, took one for the team then, yeah. mate. Anyway, second second point I want to ask about, what was the most difficult thing? I'll take this. About making the podcast <laughs> go on. Time. Was yeah. it? Oh. 100%. When, 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 when we look back and we've... Since, had a great time, it, but we're, first had a great time, but we're getting divorced, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> so, we're, what, we're, li- we're living in here now. Yeah. What was the um, first episode? Which, was it the 28th of December it's released? And we've done every Tuesday since then. The last episode will be on April the... 19th is it is it going to fit something like that yeah. yeah that's some going and obviously we've had to put a lot of time not just time recording but it's obviously wits editing us on whatsapp zoom meetings all these sorts social of social media the cons- and you two are you two are only quote, not even not even part-time are you just <laughs> <laughs> but the, con- the, the uh, consistency that the episodes have to be put out on and there was yeah. a couple of occasions where we've got to the point of going, oh shit, we need yeah. to record something. We yeah. haven't got anything, we've well, not got a plan, but we have to meet up this week at some point, even though we've all got full diaries, we have to make time because an episode has to go out on the Tuesday. And we got a couple in the bank early doors and we thought that was fine. But then all of a sudden they catch Caught up on you, so didn't they? Quickly. A lot of sacrifice has been made, hasn't it? Like you say, it's yeah. like great that we've all got wives who are understanding and you know appreciate what we're trying to do. And like I say, it's... Um, Everybody's laughing, yeah. but it? <laughs> yeah, they're all going, "Yeah, good one." Yeah. No, but the it's, best it's, bit it's, was there's been a lot of commitment, hasn't there? Yeah, and, it's, and yeah. It's, it's rushing around. You know that when we were here at one o'clock in the morning, I was that year still in me school tie, and like you know, it's ridiculous. And at the time where you where you rushed back, Gav, oh, and you were late, the, weren't you? We dogs, were human, yeah. and then we thought, "Don't worry, he saved the day. He's bought he's brought some pizzas." <laughs> we opened up the first pizza. Cheese and tomato. <laughs> went, oh, that's all right. He's a veg. You go. That's me and David share the meat feast. Opened up the second one. Cheese and tomato. I'm like, what's that guy? Hey, I'm just trying to appeal to everyone. Like, I don't well, know if you've got allergies. To no one. I don't know if you've got allergies. I don't oh. know if you don't like things. So I just thought I'd go plain. We had um, as well just the last episode. My little boy. I was coming out of the house at seven o'clock, and he went, "Oh, dad, don't go." And I thought, "Oh, that's a bit sad." Then I told Dave that, and he went. He won't be crying when we make a fortune and he's at the swim up bar in Dubai. Will you? <laughs> I went, no, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just keep doing this for another four or five years. Yeah. We might just get there. I've literally had the same tonight. Both both of my youngest two have just said, oh, daddy, where are you going? I'm just going down the bottom now, just doing a podcast. And like, oh, no, don't go. Nanny and granddad have just left as well. Don't you go. And it's like, oh. I'll tell you what, I, re- I mean, time, obviously, but social media aspect. Like, I've always been pretty good on Twitter. Facebook for human far between and not really Instagram and suddenly now I've now got an in the stiff Instagram and my own Instagram I'm trying to get post the stories on the right one I think <laughs> you I'm, posted a few I've posted a few, one a few when Madeline was, on <laughs> in the stiff so. I've done that and when I went with I went with my school to a netball match and I was trying <laughs> and I've, re- I've recorded the story to put and I put it on my, tried to put my own Instagram put it on in the stiffs and then the signal's gone down so I thought there's this netball match on the middle of the foot. I thought you two must be going what, what is oh, it I had to doing? say to you just leave it just yeah, leave it alone just let me just do it get yeah. off social media Sam you're not, you're not helping but it's funny like when you say that we've I think we've delegated the work quite well because you've done like in the lead up to the podcast you've planned quite well uh, and like same as you Dave I've sort of done a lot of the sort of day-to-day social media, which is obviously doing a lot of the background editing. So. Which has done a lot of organising events, yeah. but we'll come, on to, we'll come on to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, social media's been hard though, I think, because there's so many messages. I mean, you want to you wanna respond to people. If people have taken the time to comment or to say something nice, I think it's important that you respond. I think even if 
even if we had a million followers, I'd like to think that between us, we would try and somehow... Well, it's it's a good time followers. to say it, isn't it? Look, if anyone's tried to message in, there is no way we would ever not message back. But no. it'll take might take a little bit of time. We might have missed something, but we we, do, we are quite diligent about going through, aren't we? And making yeah. sure that we get back to each individual. And it'll always I, be I, one I, I break us. up tomorrow for two weeks, so I'll be I'll be all I'll be all oh, over it. Look getting, out. Getting yeah. all yeah. kind of messages. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> will be getting loads of messages. Be, Message in the stiffs. Everyone will be I'll, unfollowing I'll, in yeah. the stiffs. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be sending out, out paragraphs and everything we've had in the chat. Best memory. So think about where we started off in Pimley, didn't we? Yeah. Doing the podcast episode one. What's been? The, I mean, we've mentioned a few bits there. Favorite episode. Is there anything in specific, or would we just say? For me, it was when we released the first episode. That's, I was going to say the same as well, and we went out and celebrated, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. We had a few beers, didn't we? That was brilliant. We drew a beer, didn't we? Yeah. We drew a little, little now, one. As soon as it's done, yeah. yeah. No, but we all went, we, we, we knew it was getting released on the 28th. We recorded it just before Christmas, didn't we? And then we went out on that 28th, didn't we? Yeah. Um, the four of us into Shrewsbury. Had a few points. Struggles to get a taxi home, didn't we? <laughs> Wits left early. Oh, that we? was painful, yeah. Me and Gav were wrestling in the street. <laughs> I, was ready, Dave, I was ready Dave to run back his... to Pontsbury, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm you not waiting for a were. taxi. Eight miles. Dave had his so. head in his hands while me and Sam were wrestling I was on the ringing floor. my holly to say, can you book us a taxi? It's three grown men there, isn't it? Like, I'm a head teacher, you're, bus- yeah, you're business owners. And we're like, can you try and also get us a taxi, please? <laughs> we're struggling. How oh, did we get back in the end? Did we get a taxi? I can't yeah, remember. You, you went to Telford via Pontsbury, Gav, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> mate, I remember now, yeah. It took me literally about an hour and a half to get home. And then we had to go, oh, well, Sam just flipping did as usual, didn't he? Take me home first. Yeah, they come, <laughs> come back and picked us up, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were having a cheese and tomato pizza, no, weren't we? Right, yeah. I sat in the front, yeah. bully the driver, mate. So he, he, dropped, my house first, mate. he dropped us off on the uh, at the kebab house, and then he took you home. And then fair play to him. He yeah, come back, back, didn't he? We didn't think he was going to come we back. Oh, yeah, no, no, we were like, back. It, they were stretching. Yeah. They, were, <laughs> they I, were stretching his quads. I was saying, I was saying to him, once you've dropped me, you need to go back and pick the lads yeah. up. And he was like, yeah, yeah. But like, a little bit of me was going, like, if you don't, I'm not, yeah. I'll be all right. <laughs> a, little, a little bit was you saying to your Holly, going, yeah, that Gavin Dave will be here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but he did, didn't yeah, he? picked us up. And then I said to Dave, where are we going to tell for the Pontsbury? And then we were already on the way to Pontsbury. And then we went down to this dark lane Literally could not see anything. I thought Dave was taking me somewhere to kill me. And then you'd gone and I was just praying that I could get home. But man, it's about an hour and a half later I was yeah. home. But in fairness, we spoke about this pod this podcast like two years ago, didn't we? Remember you yeah, suggested did. it, Gav, didn't you? Yeah. Ages ago. But then you know, you were still we met up, didn't we? And then we yeah. had COVID. You were manager Telford, you were still playing, and we'd had a couple of initial chats and we met up two or three times yeah, yeah. with a view to recording the first episode. Gav, we, we Gav kept it. thinking we had the right equipment every time we turned up. Oh, we were missing yeah, no <laughs> microphones for the first yeah. one. <laughs> just turned up with his first, iPhone. First right, let's well, go. I, I remember there. going. I remember going. Right, we're set. And then I yeah. think you went, Dave. Where's your laptop? I went. Oh bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> then we got. Then, then we got the the Roadcaster Pro. Yeah. That, we? That then we then we had, then we got some it. microphones. Just didn't have any leads or anything yeah. to attach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, yeah, what is this Bluetooth? Is this wireless? Is this Bluetooth? Got, got this microphone over my shoulder. Going, this got mic. Hello, <laughs> testing, testing. One, two, one, two. It's fair to say we've come a long way, haven't we? We've yeah. come a long way. Well, we still need to get better, though, don't we? Oh, miles better. Yeah. I mean, and we but, will. But you think that twenty-eighth of December? So what's that? That's like just over three months. Squeeze the lot. We recorded the first episode just before Christmas. I remember. We got loads of followers and stuff, haven't we? Had loads. Thousands of downloads now, haven't we? I can't even keep up with it now. I don't want to bring it up prematurely, but what's like what's the next step? So we're thinking of a series two. Have we signed the contracts? Come out of the, come out of the okay. end. Stick to the, stick to the plan. <laughs> Point four. <laughs> 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 it's like a staff meeting this yeah. hour. Run, yeah. Yeah, run I'm things, just yeah. about to say, flip it, head teacher. Everybody listen, yeah. Wait for any other business, yeah. Gav. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, lads. Jump in the gun. <laughs> Biggest thing that you've learned over the 16 episodes months I, I think we're, we're podcasting there's no such thing as I keep <laughs> first few times I was saying to Emma my wife oh, I'll, be, I'll be back in an hour we're only doing a short one yeah. tonight no such thing as a short podcast by the time you've set up spoke about it yeah. all the things that go with it they're long nights aren't they when you come and do it I think we're, we're getting slicker though because initially when we started we'd be like sat, sitting around chatting for an hour yeah. whereas now <laughs> like I, I walk in take my shoes off put my headphones on I'm like let's crack on yeah let's go my Holly's been the same as yeah. your wife like totally how long are you going to be? Probably about an hour and a half. Yeah. So she plans for four hours. Yeah, which is probably, <laughs> yeah, that's, Double it, add, add an hour. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's sensible. Yeah. I mean, come looking at that first podcast, I think we're better at it. I mean, I, I cringe a little bit at that. I was interrupting all the time. We're better at that now. But that's the thing about it, is it? You look back and think how, how much we've improved and how better we are. And 
And the good thing is, we've obviously been appealing to people's sort of interests, but then we've had good feedback, like a bit of constructive feedback, and we've adhered to that as well, haven't we? So there are definitely like loads. Of, there is definitely loads of improvement. I think. Not having too many beers is important. Yeah. But when you yeah. when you come back and you'd had a few. He had a few drinks at the dogs. Stole it out quite well. Yeah. A few Jaeger yeah. bombs. He, he, he didn't, didn't tell us till after though. Yeah, he did. He, did, he didn't have him twenty minutes on Sadie Burton. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even heard of him. And all the ones going, "Who's he?" He didn't know. So I was like, "What's this episode, Sadie Burton? No one knows who he is." We spent a week editing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chop, chopped out, chopped out ninety three minutes of it. Yeah, yeah. There's a sweet spot with beers, isn't there? Yeah. yeah, one or two to loosen it's like up, and then a, it's like doing the best man five. speech, isn't it? You know, you need like you have a couple, but yeah, or you have three, don't you? You don't, you don't have six. Yeah. Well, on the way back, Holly said to me, have you had a few too many beers? And I was like, no, absolutely fine. Yeah. Obviously, she was driving, and I'd only had about five or six. You're late. I'm more interested when I've had a few <laughs> beers. <Yeah. laughs> you should get some more into me, to be honest. No, so um, if there's any breweries out there that want to sponsor yeah, the second yeah, podcast. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll make sure that. Well, that's um, another thing, the fact that someone's seen the value in, obviously, sponsoring us. We've had Acoustiphone, Budging. You know, that's like... Shout Anybody out. wants to sponsor us, get on board. Absolutely. Shout out to them, though, because obviously they've taken the plunge, yeah. and we've sort of... It's not, it's, not, it's not a plunge now. They weren't doing it episode one, were they? They're doing it now when we're established. Yeah, not soon as now. Joe Art and Connor Cody. Yeah, <laughs> Connor Co- yeah, everybody wants to know them. Another thing, don't let wits organise anything. I think that's something that we've learned, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but, I mean, we have got the Shuby Town, the community event that started off as a question and answer. We said, oh, wits, can you just go and confirm the question and answer? I'm happy to do that. Like, we'll just rock up there for... Two hours and we'll do it. And which which comes back says we're doing a live podcast. <laughs> and I, I'm, prese- I'm, prese- I'm presenting it in a church in town. <laughs> we can, we can like, what? What? <laughs> what? What do I need to do? You need to buy. You need to buy a jacket. The, yeah. You need to buy a jacket and a wireless microphone. You're up. You're up. <laughs> I was convinced it was a uh, Q and A, but was, which, which is adamant. adamant. You're adamant, aren't you? So yeah, I think yeah, we just must have had too many beers. I think, that, I think that Wits is messaging the wrong group. <laughs> yeah. Wits knows the best plan for us, don't you, Wits? Again, we'll style yeah. it out. We'll style it out. It'll work out. I tell you what, a serious point, though, isn't it? Is how things can get twisted. Our little media lesson, isn't it, with sort of with Joe? You know, whereas they take a little snapshot and say, "Oh, Joe," you know, start this divisive. Discussion between who's right, Joe Hart and Nuno, and whose side are you on? When it wasn't like that at all, I think that's quite a lesson, that, a harsh lesson. Yeah, not a harsh lesson for us. It was like to, to start off with, it's like oh, talk sport, or talk, and one of my mates texted me saying, "Talk sport, or talk about it in the yeah. stage." Oh, why this is amazing? Then I listened to, it and I was like, ah, yeah, it's not really it's not the message really you want to get across. Want, is it? It's not what we were after, was it's it? Good. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's, it, it gives us a bit of exposure, but we're not just about exposure. Or we want to try and do things right. And, and that's why the guests are so good because you get loads of context to the stories yeah. they're telling, what goes on behind the scenes. But it was a big lesson to us that the media want to portray it as they want it. What's going to kind of make headlines? And the headline out of Joe's of that episode was. Joe got told by Nuno yeah. he wasn't good enough. And, and then they just boxed that little yeah. bit off. They didn't talk about the conversation before, the conversation after, where Joe's at now. And Joe's getting criticised for not handling that conversation when he goes, hold on a minute. He's a, he has a, that's absolutely handled, yeah, more than yeah. handled it. Didn't handled he? that conversation and he accepted it. So what, what do we do better then? What like In that situation, what have we learned? Like how... Because it's tough, isn't That's it? When you really do it, not really that much we can do. No, well, I thought that because things to be picked up as we obviously did the yeah. podcast. Joe was obviously magnificent in it and the story, and I thought he came across really well. It's tough for us, isn't it? Because in in that sense, like how how do we control that? How do you control you it? You can't well, you control what the media speak about. It. We just got yeah. to control what we do, and that is put out, try well, and put as so many messages as we can. I shouldn't have shared it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's the lesson, isn't it? Like we we sort of jumped on it, got a bit excited, didn't we? When the reality is, that's again, you've said it previously. It's not the message we were looking to portray, was it? We we're not here to. It's stir. not a message that we're going for. I mean, mentioned it a million times, didn't we? About trying to show what people are like underneath what everybody sees. I think that's what that's that's our aim, isn't it? That's our ethos, or that's our vision for the podcast. And it did, didn't it? The full podcast shows yeah. Joan an unbelievable life. Yeah, I, didn't it? I mean, so many people have said to me, "What a guy!" Like yeah, he comes yeah. across so well. I mean, we already knew, we already know, yeah, like good. for the most part. I mean, I haven't seen him for a long time, but you know, you know for the most part. But he has come across as such a class act, as did Connor. That's what we want to. That's what we want to do for any for anybody and anybody who's listening who would like to come on. You know, that's what we will do. It's it's good for them. Good for their image, I think, as yeah. well. I think so. No, well, I mean, like yeah. you say, everybody loves Connor now. Or not that they didn't anyway, but just saying, what a great lad, what a down-to-earth bloke. Joe, what a great lad, what a down-to-earth bloke. Yep, yeah, come on. Especially if you've got a reputation for being a bit of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> you're, better, yeah. you're best off coming on. That's why we started a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Kim was uh, I'll help you two out, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Hopes for the future then, lads. 
What are we thinking? Dave? Obviously, I think we, we all want to do a season two, don't we? I think we... Yeah, 100%. We're, we're looking I'm at... I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen we're the contract at, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking at maybe more guests. So we only had two out of 15 episodes. So yeah, yeah. a bit more of an more equal guests. split, I think. So more guests. Are I, we ne- I mean, are we necessarily looking for... You know, because we've gone really high profile there. I mean, does it matter? I mean, it helps with numbers, doesn't it? And it helps with, you know, Connor Cody, obviously, all of Wolves, isn't it? If yeah. Joe Hart, Man City, England. It'd be, it's it. I mean, it's... I don't want to spoil it, but we have spoken about some big names. I mean, they're not currently as big as Joe and as big as Connor, but we, the names that we are talking about and the ones that we've got boxed off and booked in, I, I think they are really appealing to so many people in football. Yeah, I don't think it's all about having a big name. I think it's the, story. the fascinating stories, isn't it? Yeah. And that's not stories that we're just having on to make everyone laugh. It's like actual in-depth stories yeah. about what it was like for them over there, football or whatever it is. Um even different professions, I think an insight into different worlds is fascinating, isn't it? I think that's what we're that's what we're trying to do, aren't we? It's not we're not being like under the cosh where it's just funny stories. I think we're trying to be, but we're also we're not being, I don't know, see a high performance podcast where it's just you know talking about mentality. I think hopefully we get a little bit of a balance. Yeah, I think. definitely. I think that's that that's I'm nailed trying. on. That that for how I would like it to go, and I know having spoken to you two, to have that balance of both of those two would be brilliant. Because yeah. they're both brilliant podcasts, aren't they? They oh, like, yeah. love watching them too. Yeah. So yeah, and then try and develop all the other stuff alongside it, like the the YouTube and stuff, and yeah. all the I mean that's the social we need the to get social better media at, stuff. We're basically if saying we're not that clever and, and we're yeah. not that funny, so <laughs> we're trying to find we, a balance. We, we just we just started not <laughs> knowing anything about trades. it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, um, yeah, well, we're all going to try and grow our YouTube channel, aren't we? Yeah. So we've well, got about I, I, only, I only found out we had one tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought we still had, I said get 100 subscribers. So I, I messaged all the staff at school saying you need to sign up for this, for CPD. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I got all them on board. So you want 100 subscribers. We're sending, yeah. Why do we need to hit 100, Wits? What was the 100 number? Oh, yeah, so we get, far we get too our own, complex, we got our own little roll, hand. Just roll with the punches, yeah. But now we've got more. But we have, I mean, I, like, we don't really share YouTube stuff, but we need to get on yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I think like after this, what will be good, and when we do have that little bit of a break, We'll, do, we'll share a lot from YouTube. We'll make sure that we yeah. get a load out there. I think we want to do stuff away from the podcast as well. So doing some video content in, in different things, like the thought of, I don't know, going into a club and doing challenges and just stuff, fun stuff like that. And then we really want to do a live event, don't we? I think. Well, we were, I mean, obviously, which is record. A second live now. event. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, doing our, we're doing our live event now. Yeah. Our charity, well, it's a charity got, event. Should in should the, yeah, should be town in the community. Brilliant. That'll be good. That. Yeah, that'll yeah. be class. Now but we know what it is. That'll be brilliant, yeah. won't it? Now we've clarified what we yeah. need to do. Now I've got my jacket and all that, and I know I'm <laughs> presenting now. Like, Your lapel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll do a big event, and we're talking about seeing if we can do it, at, I don't know, wherever we wherever we can, whether we do it at a pub or whether we try and make it bigger and do it at Truby Theatre Conference Special or something. Need to throw out a bit of an expression of interest. So people on social media, if you see the value in us doing a live event, make a comment, let us know. See if you think people will be interested. If not, then... Could do a like a, a, a Shrewsby one, a conference special one, or releg- relegation <laughs> special. <laughs> relegation special. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get um, who, is it? who do we have? Gemma O'Mooney and that uh, along. But I mean, yeah, we'll, anything. We'll, now we'll do something. I think if we're we're doing it in Shrewsbury, it'd be nice to do it about Shrewsbury yeah. somewhere. And I think uh, an era where we were all sort of involved. You come a little bit after you, Gab, but you know a lot of the lads from that time where we yeah. got we got promoted back into the league, which. Was important for the yeah. club back then, wasn't well, it? Well, it'd be fascinating for me to to listen to it as well yeah, and get like, all the lads down. Yeah, there. Well, I mean, that yeah. would be great, wouldn't it? I mean, that's what I fancy doing, just getting all the lads to come, to inviting as much of the like the whole team, yeah, and just doing a big event. Try and do it at Chuby Theatre. Everybody has a few beers after party. Afterwards, we go there. It's done then. So we're doing a live event. <laughs> Everyone's invited, <laughs> and there's an after everyone, party. Everyone, <laughs> everyone in the town's invited. <laughs> yeah. What are we charging? Not going black tie in that, are we? We're not doing a hundred, no. hundred quid, hundred quid black tie, no. are we? We're we doing a tenner. I'll buy your, tenor, your gear. Pine, 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 pine. Pine, pine. I'll wear my jacket that way <laughs> presenting at the charity event. Yeah, they're like a lot of magician. No, I think that's, like that's that. definitely going to be the way we go. stuff we need to have a little chat about, yeah, don't yeah. we? And going into series two, is, um, I know a lot of people are throwing out they're desperate for us to get GP on. We have had conversations, I think. We rang him. We rang Gary Peters when we had a few yeah. beers, didn't I we? I just bit the bullet, didn't I? Yeah, him. He's like, I'm ringing him. GP. He's like, Gal, how are you? I'm with Sam. I'm with Sam Easton and Dean Edwards. He was like, <laughs> okay. He went, Bye. what the <laughs> do you want? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he was good. He was. He sounded good spirits. He was, just, he was open for a conversation. I'm not sure he's in a position to be able to come on the podcast, but I think we could maybe present some questions to him. Good old boy, isn't he? So, 
sure he'll yeah, be fine with that. I'll touch base with him again this week. We're going to be a bit more organised, aren't we? I think with stuff. I mean, we've, we've been, we've done all right, haven't we? I mean, if it wasn't for Gav, it would have been, we would have been on time, like like clockwork, wouldn't we? It's yeah. just the last minute changes, isn't it? Wouldn't have been here at all, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he has provided the the venue, the microphones, and the, and, and the cheese the tomato equipment. pizza. Yeah, oh, I tell you, I can do you a good cheese and tomato pizza. Don't worry yeah. about that. You you bought the beers this time. That was good of you. One in ten. <laughs> well, one in t- I bought the beers last week, didn't I? When we did the podcast, I just put them on the side. And I was like, "Done my bit." Didn't even put, didn't even put them in the, fridge. in the fridge. I was sitting there, with, sitting there, with my feet up, like, "You're welcome, lads." <laughs> like, you haven't got any equipment out, Sam. You haven't put the beers away or anything. I was like, "Done my bit." Nine quid, Aldi. There yeah. you are. <laughs> Sorted. But on a serious note, it has been brilliant. How we've all fl- we haven't we haven't. I know we've um, we've been quite structured around episodes and we've had itineraries and stuff, but it has You're been welcome. pretty fluent. Yeah, it has been pretty fluent how we've all just mucked in and just got things done, hasn't it? Without really having a solid platform to say, right, you do this, you do that. We've, I think it's been really good, really good teamwork. Yeah, and we've, and we've done it all ourselves, haven't we? Well, with Wits as well, four of us. We haven't got any media, haven't got any media people, have we? So no. I've had a few people go to me, who does your media? I'm like, uh, <laughs> Gav? <laughs> 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 all right, I thought you'd have like someone yeah. specialist. Someone, like, someone no. good. <laughs> someone, no, not really. Who, does, who shares your stuff on Twitter? Oh, it's, it's me. Yeah. It's me. Is that why you keep getting so wrong and put on the wrong account? Yeah. I was Facebook when I, your Instagram, your oh, Twitter. Twitter. Wits has done all the editing and all the videos and stuff. So it's done all right. It's just, yeah, it's for people evolved. to get an understanding of what we're doing, we're, we're putting a bit of time and effort in. And as long as people keep seeing the value in what we're doing, then we'll keep doing it, won't we? Yeah, I'll be honest. I haven't really done don't tell your social show. media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't tell my missus that. Though. We, haven't, um, we could do with some sponsorship though, couldn't we? Who would, who, who would be a good sponsor for us? Well, Acoustifoam have been brilliant. Budging yeah. were quality, weren't they, getting yeah. us up there. Acoustifoam have, have paid for the equipment, haven't they? They've been fantastic, like, so supportive, and I think they they want to link in with us again. A lot of people forward. made money. A lot of people have said to me, is it, is it, like, <laughs> is it your full-time job now, Sam? I went, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. It's not been a job, been job been been was. Like, well, I don't know. Well, well, we need to do a bit of research, don't we, to yeah, see we'll how anybody it. makes any money. We're having a laugh, anyway. Yeah, not I'm not giving, up, not giving up the day job, anyway, at the moment. Not just yet, no. Yeah. I'll take a few free bottles of beer, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anything else on Lars you want to say? I just think it's been a brilliant, brilliant experience from my perspective. It's been so good. Like we said at the top of the, the podcast, where people have just got that common connection with you and they want to say hello, oh, well done on the podcast. And you definitely feel people in the, in the past have wanted to say something but haven't quite had a reason to say something. And then now they do and they so speak so highly of the podcast and then friends and family who have given me good, you know, to pass on good critique. It's just been a brilliant experience going up to see Joe, Connor, us just having those experience. I've just loved every minute of it. Uh, that's that's definitely my favourite bit. Like seeing it when I go to the Shrewsbury match, you know, just get people going like tap me on the shoulder and just go, hey Sam, love the podcast. That, yeah. You know, that was, that was a good episode. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And it's nice to, you know, if you can make people smile or, you know, you make people laugh or... And we've had a couple of inside. people messages, haven't we, saying that it's helped them in various ways, I mean, whether it's been mental big, health or, yeah... yeah. I mean, if great not, feeling if, that isn't yeah, it? To if be able to nothing support else, people. if if you achieve nothing else, if we had one listener for that person to say that had been such a help to her to her mental health, that's worth it for that alone. Absolutely, it? and it's and there's been a few people that have spoken to me about it. Have said it's like uh, as a lad I know who does a bit of running. He's just been really struggling for motivation to go running, so he's just been sticking our podcast on it. Just gets him through, you know. And you just think that's quality in it. Like it's, it's, it's a quickens up car journeys, doesn't it? Podcast. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. I think we're doing that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, I've had a few, yeah, a few people have mentioned that with being on long drives and it just makes it go quick. That's like being on a run, isn't it? it I helps. know we're doing all right because my mother in law has even listened to it and even she says it's half decent. Yeah. So I'm Lynn, just, I'm, still loves it, yeah, she? yeah, number one fan. I, I'm, I'm just so grateful that people are actually clicking on the podcast. This, I think that's a, such an amazing thing for us four here who put in yeah. the time to do it, the amount of hours Wits puts in behind the scenes just for someone then to go search on their phone and click on to, li- to listen to yeah. us or to take up an hour of their morning because they want to listen to us. I think that's, that's amazing. It's been think, a real privilege, isn't it? And yeah. I think you appreciate it more when you're, when you're older like we do. Because I think when you're playing football, you don't realise, you know, like I look back now and I think when I was playing for Sunderland or playing for Shrewsbury and, you know, you could have gone more to hospitals or visit the children, you know, there would have been, it would have been like to see or took a bit more time for fans, you know, when you, say, you sign autographs and you think you, should, you would, now you'd take more time, wouldn't you? But you don't when you're there because it's just like, living in this whirlwind aren't you I think a little bit I think sometimes you, you you do do all of those things don't you but you just don't see the value in them so if you're asked to sign autographs or you're asked to go you're asked to go to the hospitals or whatever which we've all done in our careers but it's it's that seeing the value in it appreciating yeah, what the the impact right. that you're having and that's like what I feel like 
I feel so grateful to be a part of it and, and privileged. And it's like that impact that we're having in just by people, like you say, I mean, you've said it loads, haven't you? You've loved it because people have been coming up to you. And All I know you've said the same, just constantly people like, I, I've been in meetings today and people are like, love the podcast. And I'm like, you've been listening? And they're like, yeah, yeah, love it. I think um, when you've got your own kids as well, you you know, you appreciate people taking the, taking the time. I always tell the story when I, me, me, me and Hector, and we're waiting for, Stoke, we're at a Stoke match. Me and Hugo, sorry, we're at a Stoke match and the Stoke players have arrived and we're waiting for like to do their autograph, like to get autographs. And like Hugo's, Hugo's there and he's buzzing. And I was thinking like, like these lads getting off here, you know, and they, and they were brilliant. The vast majority were brilliant. Like Peter Crouch and all that signed the autographs. Um, Mark Hughes signs it all. And I thought, amazing. I thought like, I remember people doing that for me, but you just don't think, do you? And then is there, um, Posselu has just got, got off and like Hugo's gone, I get your autograph and he hasn't even spoke he's just walked past and I felt like just jumping over the barrier and grabbing and going mate I don't want your I think you're terrible I think you're absolutely terrible like but my little boy wants yeah, your autograph and yeah. he's, he's seven and for whatever reason like which is mental to me he thinks he, you're a bit of a hero of his yeah like but you don't have him as a hero anyway yeah, yeah. You're rubbish <laughs> um, but, it comes uh, but, with, but if you want to come on the podcast host you're more than welcome <laughs> But it comes with responsibility as well, doesn't it? So like like you say, if, if the more we do this and the more hopefully people see the value in it, the more responsibility you've got if people sort of start to rely on it a little bit for their day-to-day activities or for their car journeys or their mental health, whatever it may be. If if I'm not I'm not suggesting that we are going to have that impact on people, but if we do have the pleasure of doing that, then that's, that's an amazing thing. We found thing. that already. I mean, that's why we've had to be consistent. Like, we didn't understand that one needs to be released every week. It was wits. Wits, it was wits was. You have to have it yeah. like every Tuesday yeah. and yeah. then to get that consistency. And then yeah, we said we can't fit in and we're like, yeah, you, you, like, you need yeah. to. And I'm like, yeah. wits, we need to. Like, who's, no one's going to care. Wits, like, yeah. wits come in here and tell my wife, Holly, yeah. Holly, yeah. wits has yeah. got something to tell you. No, but I think we, we underestimated that. A lot of people are going like, where's your, where, was it one Tuesday we missed, didn't we, or something a few weeks ago and everybody was like, what? As a podcast, even at, at work, people are going, how come we didn't do a podcast? And I thought, yeah. I don't think anyone would notice. Or yeah. certainly you might, might notice, but not care. Yeah, people yeah. That, lots of people have noticed and lots of people cared. And I thought, oh. Better, we best keep it better going keep, then. Better yeah. keep it going. Well, but we're again, gonna, I suppose... We're going to have a little break, aren't we? We've got to have a little break. Yeah. For we a few have... weeks, come up with a bit of a, a plan of attacks. I think as we've just sort of let everybody know, we, have, we don't, still don't really know what we're, we're doing. We're still rolled into it, haven't we? Yeah. So we need to st- think about how we do it, bit of a plan of action, get some guests in the, in the tank, Come up with some ideas for shows as well. What we're going to do? Get all, get up, get planning the live show. And if anyone else has got any ideas, you yeah, know, we're on social media. Ideas. You know, there's been people this week sending loads of stuff. And please, I'm, please, and please. And I'm send, on holiday, so I'll, I'll reply. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So just Not send stuff. Out, you won't be. You'll be yeah. back at school. <laughs> yeah. Email us in the stiffs at gmail.com. Send us uh, messages, direct messages on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everything's welcome. Everything's welcome. We'll see the value in it all, won't we? And then more stories in season two, because that's been a, a good thing. Reminiscent, isn't it? Loads of things I forgot. And then you just kind of trigger off a story and it all comes back yeah, to you. Yeah. It's amazing. There's loads of things that I wish I'd mentioned as well. When I know like laughing when I've missed off like massive like Jody Craddock and Shea <laughs> Given and people like that would think, Oh, I forgot all about that. That was the one Thomas Sorensen. Yeah, all that. Oh, oh, my, that, that, that's the me. highlight that, that was actually. quality. Sorry, that was a classic, wasn't it? Yeah. Just remind I feel sorry for him. Remind yeah. Why is that? that? Well, you know, I don't, don't think he'd played too many games for Denmark because of obviously Peter and Kasper Schmeichel. The funny bit about that, there was like, because of Peter Schmeichel and Kasper Schmeichel dominated that Danish number one jersey. And there was like, there's like 20 years gap in between. So that's why, that's why Thomas Sorensen didn't get many caps. And then someone messaged, just so you know, Thomas Sorensen got 101 Denmark caps. <laughs> it, it would have that, been funny if he'd got 40, really. wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. If he'd got 40 caps, that would have been funny, but 101 <laughs> caps. Really. Learning the value of a little bit of research yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. Before you that's see another things. thing we've learned, isn't it? But yeah, be prepared. So we're emotional, everybody. we're signing off, are we... Uh, we'll, have a little, we'll have a little group hug, won't we? Have we'll, have a little, little we'll have a little beer, won't we? Yeah. A little group hug. Yeah. Season one done. Season one yeah. done. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've loved it. Absolutely we? loved it. Been amazing. Absolutely loved it. It's been hard work, but we've loved it. We are ready for season two. Give us loads of feedback, loads of interaction. Share the episode. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Sorry, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. we'll be on that. We'll be better at that, won't we? Subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, and, 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 po- and podcasts as well, rather than just downloading or just listening. If you sub- subscribe, you get notifications when episodes are going to come because we have got a couple of ones already recorded, which you might chuck out in between the seasons. Yeah. So Bonus make sure you subscribe so you get the notifications when the episodes how, are coming how out. Do they, so how do they subscribe on YouTube? 
Go on our thing and press subscribe. Go on YouTube <laughs> and you click the subscribe <laughs> button. Oh, right, um, can, can, please write that down for me again. So you go on, you go on YouTube and then you go right, type it in the stiffs. Yeah, that's and it. And the wheel come up. It'll come and up. And then you press subscribe. You click on it and then the, there's a big button that says subscribe. <laughs> you click on that. I've got half a feeling it might right. work. I need to do that then because I don't think I've subscribed yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Loved it. Loved it. Thank Fantastic. you, everyone. Cheers, lads. Cheers, Wits. Bye for now.